Hi everyone, I do want to come in really quick to give a big, big thank you to Squarespace for sponsoring this video. I'm super grateful for a, such a long time collaboration, but a little bit more on them very soon. Very tall with the shoes. They're like a mini. It's not the shoes, I'm a model darling. <laughs> Everyone, I'm really, really excited to be finally bringing you guys this video. And we have some really, really exciting news to share. Do you want to say it? You can say it. You can say it. You can say it. I'll say it. <laughs> okay, so it's been two years of us living here at this house. Uh, we moved here on May 15th. That's when I landed with Chase and, and made the, the move here. That's when all the horses moved in and since then we've been staying here and seeing if we kind of liked having the horses at our house. Uh, we wanted to kind of experience if it's something that was manageable for us and we had two years to figure out, okay, is this something that we like, that we can Plus afford? Plus you moved to another country. Yeah, I need to see how the country was and it's a huge, huge, huge commitment being at a place like this because there's always something you have to work on. You have to dedicate a lot of time, a lot of money and that's something that we really had to consider. I'm 23. You're 35 now. <laughs> Nearly. No, yes, it's turning 25. I'm 23, so I have this huge responsibility on our backs. It's something we really, really had to consider. So we took two years time to think, okay, can we potentially think about buying this place? Is it realistic? Can it actually happen? We finally came to a conclusion of saying, let's do it. Let's buy this place. Uh, and it's beautiful. So. It's amazing. And luckily the landlord, kind of, we had the discussion with them and they we're happy to rent it out to us first and then if we could make it happen we, we could go into purchasing the place so we have now officially done that as of what is it was it may 29th i think i think it was the 29th of may we went to the notary and we finally made everything official so we are now officially the new owners of this whole place now that it's officially our place we've started to do a lot of changes uh we are maybe gonna share a few things of inside the house at a later date because we started to do a few small things. We still need to do all of we that. We still need to do a lot, but we were like, okay, it's summer now. Well, it's leading up to summer. Spring is about to finish. Let's start with doing all of the outside. So we're gonna take you guys through some of the changes that we've done. We're gonna let you guys meet the chickens that we bought. And we're gonna tell you some of the future plans that we have for this place, because we do wanna build oh some God. things. So let's come through this way. So this is actually the back door of the house. The official front door is on the other side, which you guys are gonna see, but we always use this way. So this is where we drive into, through those gates to come to the front of the house. Uh, the house is actually, I find it really pretty because it's a different kind of, like every corner of the house is a different shape. It's not square and even, it's kind of very interesting and different. Uh, and I really, really like that. For me, the way it looks like is really like my own dream house. Thank you. Yeah, it's a bit like a fairy tale house. It's very cute. I'm going to be inserting some photos and letting you guys see what these areas look like before because we've already done a lot, a lot of work. So if we focus on this area, for instance, um, I'm going to put a before photo of how this looks and how it looks now. We kind of put this little like trim of uh, bricks to kind of redefine the space and there's some hedging and plants. Where a lot of people drove over. Everybody drives over this edge. Everybody. So we're going to have to figure it out. these bricks are from? They're like the 18th century or something, so... We can't really get them back. Anyways, this is something that's quite new and it's this fountain. As you guys will be able to see in the before photos, there was no fountain here before. It's not yet installed, but we're going to be taking out this layer of bricks and concreting it in. 
and it's actually gonna have water coming out of it as well and we're gonna be having some nice lights shooting from underneath so tonight I think it will look really special and it adds a point of interest to the front of the house even though there's a lot going on already okay imagine you wake else. up and you're like where is yes and then I'm sitting in here this will take you around to the side of the house uh, now there's a few cars and people here but one thing that happened that is so sad I'm gonna put obviously some before photos here as well but we had a truck come through to deliver some things and they drove over the whole brick. So... That's unfortunate. Hi, lawsuit. It's coming. <laughs> no, it's not. They're coming to fix it. Um, okay, so this kind of area is kind of almost finished. We... I'm gonna put, yeah, as I said, some before photos so you can see the changes that have been happening, but we just kind of wanted to cover this wall, make it a bit green. These are all hydrangeas, so they're gonna have huge white flowers coming through. Um, and yeah, I, I really like this space now. It's, it's filled out and it's nice. Um, and for now, I don't envision anything else coming. If you come here, you see the feed room. It is now really open, but at one point we would like to have doors installed. So then you can also block everything off. Because first of all, it doesn't really look great like this. And then everything, I mean, everything stays kind of dry. But the biggest problem is maybe that the dogs want to eat the hay. I think because they see the horses do it, so they eat it all the time. We just need a door here to kind of block all of this situation because it's so ugly to see from the outside. Uh, and when it's raining and stuff, it just kind of keeps the humidity out. We saw that a few guys of you commented that we should paint this with like a uh, mold proof paint or whatever it was, something like that. So that's something I think we will tackle and do as well. Uh, we just need to check a few pieces of the roof and get them reinforced. We just have a new roof. Yeah, but maybe we even just throw the whole thing down and just do it nicer. Again, I don't know. We need to figure that out. But anyway, something will be happening with the space to make it a little bit more visually appealing and practical as well. Okay, so let's focus a little bit on the things that we've done that are looking a little bit better. So what we did with this area is we ripped absolutely everything out of this garden bed. I'm gonna insert also some before, before photos here. But it, before it was just a mixture and it, it didn't look bad, but it just wasn't to our taste. So what we did now is we made kind of this mixture of like a rose garden and some different flowers in it. And I think it adds a really nice piece of color. Uh, for this strip. So the reason why the lawn looks like a war happened on it is because we just wanted to completely re-level everything. It was full of bumps and uh, little dips and we just wanted to reseed it, re-level it. So we've done the whole lawn again. We had um, somebody who was working for us yesterday who came in with big machines and did it all. Um, so right now it looks like this but we are about to put sprinklers inside the lawn and then we'll reseed and it'll look much better. But let's take you guys a little bit further down and show you what else is going on. So far for the stables that is here, it's looking the same. We don't have any huge, huge plans on doing anything here for now, don't you think? No. Like this is kind of functioning really well. It's a good space. We're not really gonna touch it. It's it's doing well. We've just put some pots there to make it look a little bit nicer. I think a lot of like big labor has gone down here, which might not look it, but if I'll show you guys the before, you'll understand. So what we've done is we've completely opened up the whole area. Uh, and that is because there was, there was like a garden bed underneath the tree there and there was a big hill and now we've there just way more branches yeah there was a lot of branches on the tree branches and we've just cut them we've opened up the whole area this is going to be all lawn and we're currently in the process of re-leveling we had a lot of dirt brought in by tractors and now we're getting to the point where it's almost ready um but it's it's amazing how much bigger this whole space feels now that, that we've cleared it but let's go underneath here because we were never able to stand underneath the tree before properly and now it's just clear. We could play like a soccer game here. We could do anything. But we don't even soccer. like soccer. No. But there's a lot of space to to do <laughs> all that. And oh sure. <gasps> oh. <laughs> Let's head over now to this little chicken heaven thing. You guys are seeing it in its final final stages. There's probably one or two things that we still have to do. For instance, there's a gate missing because because of Corona, there's like no gates apparently available anywhere have purchased 15 chickens it's kind of all different breeds and different sizes they've all been on super super well we've had no fights nothing really like no, that no drama no chicken drama no no drama on the chicken side which has been nice um so we're going to show you the inside because we've done a few little new things on the inside of the house and then we're going to take you inside to also see the chickens as well we have put in a few like decorative pieces uh in the house we have like a little light that works here we had a whole like electrical thing put down here we have made these kind of two different garden beds with an arbor. I think that looks really, really nice. And the roses will grow. 
fall over. Yeah, and there's climbing roses on there, so I think that's gonna look eventually really, really nice. And one thing before we, we look at the house, just underneath the tree there, there used to be three apple trees that never bloomed because they were not getting enough sun and water because they were underneath the big tree. So let's talk a little bit very quickly about today's sponsor, Squarespace. Now, I really, really love this collaboration because I use Squarespace for my website and that's what that is. Squarespace is a platform that helps you create and build your own website using some pre-made templates. There is so many templates you can go in and pick from. There's so many different varieties, so there's definitely gonna be something in there for you. You can go in and customize and edit also every single template so you can really make sure you get the design that you want. It's super simple to operate. It's very straightforward. You can really customize and have the look and feel that you want for your website. And it's also very, very affordable. Speaking of which, I do have a code for you guys if you're interested. It's www.squarespace slash Matt Harnicky. And with this, you'll be able to get 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain. Thank you again, Squarespace, for sponsoring this video. And now back to the stable update. Big tree. So now they've been relocated here, they're struggling a little bit because they're like 40 years old and they're getting moved now, but I hope they're going to pull through and I think this is going to be really, really nice for the chickens to have some shade and eventually we'll also have some apples as well. And Steve made a nice duck. Oh yes. Oh yeah, Steve That's made a dog. Forget about that. I don't know if we had that already in the last video. And painting was the biggest job, that's why I didn't do it. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Yes, I did not participate in the painting, but that's okay. I think so, if we go in here now... Um, oh, we have two eggs. Look at that. So we decided that they needed to also have a little decorative farmy piece. So they have a little painting. Um, and then we put up this little storage rack so we can hang some things. There's a bit of a shelf for us to, to put stuff in. Um, so for now we have two eggs, which is good. These are the nesting boxes. And I think we added one more. Since you guys have seen it, we've added one more branch. So they have more roosting space and also this roosting area with a bigger with one bigger um nesting box i know it looks a little bit dirty but it literally got cleaned two weeks ago we also have power um, in the house yeah they have power so then they can uh charge their iphones exactly <laughs> but look two fresh eggs from today this is obviously from a smaller chicken and this is from a bigger chicken i don't know how it happened but somehow the dogs managed to weasel their way in here once uh and luckily they were like pretty chilled with them so they're also pretty chilled about not coming in so this is all of them. We have kind of some different breeds. We have some smaller ones. We have some Cochins. We have some Orpingtons. But, and to everybody that was telling us that this was gonna turn into dirt, right, look at this lush green grass. I literally have to mow it once a week because it gets too high. I think we've been watering it every day. Um, and maybe in winter the situation might be different, but for now it's not been. But there, they only use that to yeah, clean themselves as yeah, a bath. Yeah, they made little like holes to have a dust bath, but that's. And no one has jumped fine. the fence. Yeah, we've had no escapes. It's been pretty. All the experts out there saying that it's too low. Fuck <laughs> <I got> on that. <laughs> Mate. <laughs> yeah, so that's been. Uh, it's been good. I've actually really, really, really enjoyed having chickens. We've had a lot of eggs, like on the, on, on a normal day we get about 10, which is quite good. We eat a lot of eggs in this house, so especially with Steve here. Our gate here still, I think you guys saw that. And then we put this light pole here because we, since we have electricity now. Oh, I don't know why she's looking so twisted. Uh, but since we have electricity now, this helps us a lot if we're bringing in the horses, especially in winter at night, because there's a light shining to here where they wait for us at the gate. And then there's a light shining the pathway when we have to take them back. So that's been a nice addition. Yeah. And then, yes, yeah, sir. I know I tortured you with this, but what did we do in, in this area? Well, I don't know how you call the machine, but you have to get rid of the moss and the old grass, apparently. I didn't even know it was a thing. We what? like, de it's like dethatching. It's not looking at its prime, but it's kind of like you have to go through this process to like eventually get to the other side. There was like so much moss in here that grass was just not growing. So we just had to get rid of everything on this side and on that side. It took a very long time. It was hard work, but I think it will pay off. I'm kind of an idea that's for the future about this area at least i had it yeah. and it's something i'm trying to run I'm by yes sure about it yet but i think eventually it would be nice to convert like the stables we have now into a granny flat and and a granny flat is like basically like a small self-sustained house with like a small kitchen and bathroom and Just bedrooms a guest house, like yeah it. it's like a guest house so then when we have guests they can be there um and then 
build a new stable block that's covered here. So maybe like eight and eight stables completely covered. Eight and eight? Yeah, because then we'll, we'll have, no, because then we'll dedicate, then because then we'll be dedicating like a stable area to wash bay, feed room, tack up area. So I think we want to have maybe one or two more stables than we have now always available. Um, and more horses. Is, but this is the kind of space that we would and like. And more horses. Maybe. You never know. <laughs> but this is the kind of space that I think would be perfect for it, especially because it's close to the arena and it's close to the fields. Um, and to make something really big here that is covered in, uh, that has a big breezeway in the middle, that will be perfect. So that's something that we're kind of considering and seeing and if it's... almost be better there then. But there? Why there? Because it's hidden. Yeah, but there's not enough space. What do you mean? There's more space than there is here. I, thought, I think it's still nice to keep some lawn. Like but wouldn't you want this lawn? Because you can see this lawn, you can't see that lawn. They can look into the field, or like the block in the whole field. But that's something we want to talk about in all the time. Now let's walk down to the arena, it's right here. And with this space, this arena is really perfect. The flooring and the footing is amazing. Uh, the, we have an irrigation system under that also keeps it wet so it doesn't get too dusty. But there when it a, rains a lot, you can get rid of the water. Yeah, but there is a few things we are thinking about doing. Now we want to get it re-leveled because the corners of our arena have sunken down so they're below the level of the rest of the arena. Uh, we just had the, all the weeds sprayed, so that should be going soon. It's so don't focus on all the grass and everything in the yeah. corners. So that should, be, that should be going. It, it's kind of always difficult because when you keep an arena wet, then things want to grow in it. Um, but one thing that we were also thinking about doing is that we were thinking of maybe painting all of the wood dark. Either really, either like the colors of the chicken coop or like even going for a black. Just to clean it up a bit because there's like all the varnish on here. Um, and there's different shades of, uh, of everything going on on the wood. But it would be nice to have a nice, clean, crisp color. Um, and something that will look nice also with nude letters because we want to put uh, nude letters on here so they really stand out. So that's but kind of what we're thinking for this space. But the rest of the arena is really good and yeah. really enjoy where, where it is and how it works. And there in the corner you can see all the grass, the red grass that came off and all the other yeah, we kind of made a huge compost pile there and that's going to be getting taken away next week. I think they're coming to, to remove it. Um, but yeah, so that's what's kind of happening with this area. Now, as you guys can see, we're kind of, as you can see, we are doing a lot of watering behind. Oh, uh, and that's because look at how amazing the color of that grass is looking. Let's just walk over there. We got both of these front fields reseeded and we fertilized and now they're just growing back like crazy like it's been because we did the back fields as well a while ago only that it didn't really rain yeah. and we tried to sprinkle it no water it. we tried to water it but it didn't yeah the field is quite big so it's a bit difficult but with this one we have had a lot more luck with the rain yeah so you can definitely see the result yeah it's looking really really good and this is only so much greener than the neighbor's grass Oh my god, I know. That's and saying it, something. And this is only one of the first few days where the grass has started to shoot through. So in a week's time, it's going to look a lot more packed in already. But I'm really, really happy how the fields are kind of handling things now. Now that we've gotten a bit more rain and that we, we're using the sprinklers, it's, it's making a really big difference. Here. Look, it's always so sweet that the bird is underneath the water from the sprinkler. Taking a bird shower. We've done something a little bit different here with the groups. Uh, obviously, our horses are out all day until quite late. They come in only for the night time in the stables. But we have Andorra and Chase in this field together. And then we moved Bear and Macho and Antares in the other field. We'll go say hi to them in a second. But then the reason is only because we put them in these fields because there was a lot of grass and yeah. here was no grass anymore. Uh, but then here was too much grass for Bear because yeah, he doesn't, he can't get too fat. Yeah, because so. Bear uh, eats a lot. And so we have to just keep an eye on his weight a little bit. And with Macho, he can play a bit more, and there was less grass there. So. Yeah, and so we just thought it might be better to do that. But they're all really happy. Andor is looking amazing. Chase is also looking really, really good. Um, and the grass in here is kind of holding up for now. So we're hoping that they can stay in here for a few more weeks until they have to go onto this uh, onto this new grass. Here is Macho, Beer, and Andres. And they're doing really good together. Andres had to get used to it a little bit, so Macho and Beer were terrified. Yeah, he's kind of violent at the beginning, but, but not anymore. Now, no. But I must say, Beer and Macho are quite close. Normally, they're standing really close together, and they keep each other fit. Yeah, which is good. And here's Andres. Hey, and Andres has actually been doing really good with everything. 
I think he's feeling happy and feeling good. So I hope to give you an update about the riding soon. Yeah, I've been really, really impressed, but we haven't shared too much. <gasps> Maisie's coming in the field. She knows she's not allowed to do that. And I think because you've done a lot in the garden, but I think this is one of my favorite parts, just because of these. Yeah. And actually, I wish you could smell. You could smell this. You smell really good. Okay, that kind of concludes everything. I do want to give a really quick update on the dogs because look at how much they've grown. It's just crazy. Uh, obviously, Penny is the smaller, younger dog always in the videos, but now she is bigger than Maisie. Um, they're both really sweet. They're doing really well. Um, and they've been... <laughs> she wants her stick. They've gotten so much closer. Like, they sleep together now all the time and they're always going on little adventures together. Um, and they're both just always really really happy and doing their own thing but yeah thank you guys so much for joining us this is a huge chapter in our lives we're both very very excited that we get firstly this opportunity to continue living here creating content sharing our lives with you it's very yes. very exciting absolutely we know there's a lot to come a lot that we want to do and a lot that we want to include you guys in um, I'm, I'm i'm just so grateful that at this age we get to have all these amazing opportunities and make sure that we can kind of share with everyone that's kind of what i feel the most happy about thank you all so much for your support obviously without you all of this would not be possible uh so a huge huge thank you from me and from me thank you all for joining us on this video and we'll catch you guys on the next one bye 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 bye